Well, good morning, everyone. It's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady One, and guess what? Finally, finally, it is doily time. Now, don't get all excited and go scampering over to Zibit because the listings are not live yet. They will go live sometime later today. I have a very frantic day. We're going to go to church, then we're going to go to my parents' house to celebrate my husband and my birthdays, which are next week. Then after that, I have to stop and see Grandma. Then I have to come home and go to a meeting tonight at 6 o'clock. Somewhere in there, I may have time to list them. If it doesn't happen before then, it will happen later tonight. But it will be today. In the meantime, I'm doing this video because this is the only time I have to do it, and I will show you all of the doilies so you can look at them and think about what you might want to have. So, here we go. This time around, I have named the doilies because, honestly, trying to say cream crochet doily a million different ways gets really difficult <laughs> after a while. So, in honor of this particular doily which is a white square doily that I'm calling Oscar um, because of the cat that was hanging out by it at the antique store where I bought it. Everything, almost everything is getting a name. So anyway, so this is the first one. This is Oscar, the Oscar doily. He's about three and a half inches across and there are 12 in a set for Oscar. And we'll just put that there. Okay, following Oscar, here's some that don't have a very exciting name. This is one I had before. This is the flower wheel doily. He's about three and a quarter inches in diameter. I had this before um, in a slightly larger size. This is a tan doily. It will come 24 to a set. Oh, do you want to know the prices? I'm sorry. The Oscar will be $4 for a set. This one is... Um, 550 for the set. Okay, we also have, ooh, here, where is it? We have a larger flower wheel. As you can see, it's quite a bit larger. This one's about five and a half inches in diameter. And there are six in a set of this, and they are 350 for the set. I also have the flower wheel in dun 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 coffee dyed. Um I decided to coffee dye some. One of one or two of the tablecloths that I got in this time had a lot more damage or staining than I anticipated, and to go through it and try and pick and choose was just really overwhelming. So what I decided to do was coffee dye them, and then I did have some other ones that I thought would be pretty coffee dyed. So we did this one. The flower wheel is also coffee dyed. There are also six in a set of this one, and they are four dollars for the set. Coffee dyeing takes a long time. Did you know that? You should have seen me yesterday. No, the last two days I was in my kitchen all day dyeing and taking these in and out of the oven because there were so many of them. I'm not patient enough to wait for them to dry. My friend Monica said, well, why don't you just put them on a cookie sheet and lay them outside? Well, first of all, <clears throat> excuse me, that would take like a hundred cookie sheets. And second of all, it's not warm enough here in Pennsylvania for that yet. So anyway, finally at the end of the day last night, I got so frustrated. I just threw them in the dryer. I um, didn't really want to do that because I want my clothes to smell like coffee, but my dryer's dying anyway, and I think I might get a new one. So, you know, I was like, whoa, I am so done with this. Into the dryer they go. Anyway, that was, I was, I died, I, I got distracted. So anyway, next we have, this is the Star Wheel doily. This one is yellow. Now, the pictures on that will show up on my Zibit do not look yellow because I'm a horrible photographer, and I thought I was taking them in nice natural sunlight, but they just don't look yellow at all. They just actually look kind of dirty, but I promise you they are yellow, and even on camera, I don't think you're seeing quite the yellowness, and actually in this, there were three different shades of yellow making up the doilies. Now, they're not mixed. Like, one doily is basically one color. But at any rate, there's about three different shades of them, and they also vary fairly widely in size, anywhere from five to five and three quarter inches across. So there's an assortment in each one. I didn't try to separate, oh, here's all this shade, and here's all this shade. They're just all together. Um, there are 12 in a set of this for $4. I love yellow. I don't usually buy colored doilies, but I just love yellow. Okay, anyway, moving on, next we have 
the spider web doily. As you can see, it looks pretty much like a spider web. There are six in a set of these for $3, and these measure from point to point about six inches. Uh, if you measured them from the side to side, it would be slightly less, but point to point is six inches. Okay, next we have, this is a pretty one. I think I might take this one out so you can see this. This one, oh no, I think you can see pretty good in there. This is called, this I called the Nancy. That's my mother's name. I had run out of names to give to these and I thought, all right, Nancy. So this is Nancy and there's some dimension to this as you can see. There are six in a set of this for $4. And they um, are, they're supposed to be round, but actually because of the way it was hanging, they're a little more oblong. So they're anywhere from five and a half to six inches in diameter. And I do not have a whole lot of these. Some of these I don't have very many of. Some of them I have lots and lots of. Um, so that happens to be one that I do not have tons of. Okay, here is another one we have seen before. This is the Queen Anne's Lace doily. There are 24 in a set of these for $6. And this one also tends to vary a little bit. They're anywhere from two and a half to three inches in diameter. A lot of these tablecloths that I got this time, um, I don't know if the person crocheting them just wasn't very consistent <laughs> or if they switched crochet hooks or just from hanging, I'm not sure. But um, at any rate, they, they do vary um, in their size. We also have some of those that are coffee dyed just for something different. And there are 12 in a set of these for $3.50. Don't have very many of these sets, um, but I just wanted to sort of check out coffee dyeing these and I really like the way they turned out. I love the vintage shabby look, as you know. I love, love the coffee dyeing. Okay, next we have what I've called the small flower wheel doily um, because it actually came from the same tablecloth that those large flower wheel ones came from. These are like two and a, what do I have? Two and a quarter to two and a half inches in diameter. And there are 12 in a set for $3. This one is the Joy. I named this one after my daughter. This is about one and three quarter to two inches in diameter. And there are 24 in a set of these for $4.50. These are just a fantastic little size. They work well on a six by six, um, album so they'd work really well on a card but yet you can also use them on a larger project as well um, along with bigger doilies and things like that so we have that now we have this one and this one is Taya I named this after my friend Taya because this and the other doily that came from that tablecloth just I don't know why it just really reminded me of her so this is the Taya it is tan there are six in a set for three dollars this one right here is about four, four and a quarter inches this way, but if you measure from point to point like this, it's about six inches. So pretty. And now wait until you see the other one that came with it. This is a little bit of something different for me. I thought I, I saw this and it was so pretty that I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist, even though it's not really um, practical in the same way these other ones are. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. Let me get it out of the wrapper here. Open it up. Yes, that's right. I said open it up because it's a biggie. Okay, look at that. Is that not a beautiful, beautiful doily? This is about 10 inches in diameter. It is like a cotton or linen with embroidery on it and then crochet around the edges. And it is just gorgeous. Now, I don't do big, huge projects or big, huge layouts, but I'm thinking this would be really pretty on a 12 by 12 layout or on a, a, a canvas, an altered canvas, something like that. Um, even on some kind of, a, of an album, you know, you could wrap it around the edge. Those lace books that everybody's making are fabric books. So these are just beautiful. So this is the Taya embroidered. And um, like I said, they're about 10 inches in diameter. You get six in a set. No, I lie, three in a set. Three in a set for 650. There are three. Two of them are, to my naked eye, damage-free. And then there were a fair number that had slight stains. I don't even know if you can see it on there, but like there's some slight staining in there. So one of them will have some slight staining. Two of them are, to the best of my little naked eyeballs, damage-free. So 
I am anxious to see what you guys think of this, and I'm also anxious to see what you guys do with them. So if you end up purchasing these and you do a project and you do a video with it, please be sure to send me the link because I would love to see, love to see what you do with those. Okay, and then we have this one. It's not packaged yet. It's the only one that's not packaged because it's the one I finished coffee dyeing last night at like 1030. <laughs> this is the Tim, named after my husband. Um, these also vary pretty widely in size. I think they went anywhere from, let me measure this one. This one's like about three and a quarter. So I think they went anywhere from like two and a half to three and a quarter inches. These again are also coffee dyed. They will come 24 in a set. And I don't remember for sure because I don't have a piece of paper. I think they were $6 for the set of 24, I think. Anyway, okay. So there's that round now. Oh wait, I forgot one more. This one doesn't really have a name. This is just called the small flower and it's not even crocheted. It is like a embroidery on like linen. It was all one big piece and then I sort of cut them all out. They're about an inch in diameter. There's 24 in a set of these for 250. I think these are the sweetest little things. I love them. Okay. Anyway, there aren't very many of those. All right, the rest of these doilies, when I was trying to come up with what to name them, I was like, I just don't know. And if you know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of the Broadway musical. So I've been listening to show tunes, and I happened to get a certain CD for my birthday. It was a very early birthday present from a friend who lives pretty far away. And when I saw her, she gave it to me. It's an older musical. But anyway, I've been listening to it. So I decided to name these doilies after the characters in the musical. And if anybody can tell me what musical it is, I'll be really impressed. And I don't mean, I mean, if you just know it, I mean, you can go look it up and research and try and figure it out. But if anybody just knows it just by knowing the names, I'm going to be like super duper impressed. So let me know, leave me a message if you do. Okay. Anyway, let me see here. All right. First doily I will show you. This is the Marcel. Marcel is about three and three quarter inches in diameter. He's like an off-white creamy color. There are 12 in a set for four dollars. We also have the small Marcel, which came from the same cloth. There are 24 in a set of these for 275 and these are about an inch and a quarter in diameter. I love these little guys. I love the little ones. They make me really happy. <laughs> okay, next we have, whoopsies, next we have the Alex. Alex is kind of spider webby looking a little bit. It's actually very similar to the Tim, except it's in a much um, thinner thread and smaller weave. So this is Alex. He's about three and a half inches in diameter. There are 12 in a set for three and a quarter. And just for fun, we also coffee dyed some Alex. And they are 12 in a set for 375. So you can see the difference in the um, the color there. These, because these were very hard to cut. So we have quite a uh, little bit of fraying and tearing on the edges. And once these got coffee dyed and came out of all that, they are just so delightfully shabby. I cannot wait to layer these. They are gonna be so much fun. Okay, we also have this is called Rose three and a half inches in diameter as well. 12 in a set for 375. And we also, Rose is tan, but we also coffee dyed Rose while we were at it. 12 in a set, you can see the difference. 12 in a set for four and a quarter. Okay, here we go. Next we have Hugo. Hugo is about three and a quarter inches. Is that correct? Yes, I'm looking. Yes, three about three and a quarter inches in diameter. There are 24 in a set of this for 550. These are an off white and they look pretty similar to Marcel. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Pretty similar to Marcel, but smaller and a different color and a smaller um, cot or a smaller yarn. So that was Hugo. And we also have a small Hugo. I love these little guys. They're about an inch and they're 24 in a set for 250. 
I have a lot of doilies. Do you see that? I think there's 33. Counting the different coffee dyed ones, I think there's 33. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm crazy. Oh, I missed this when we were doing rows. Here's the small rows. These also came off of the same tablecloth. These are about an inch and a half in diameter. There's 24 in a set for 350. I got to tell you what, I love these. When I coffee dyed these, I kept like a massive amount for myself <laughs> because I like them so much. I'm going to be using these like crazy. Okay, here's another little one that I think is my favorite tiny one from this release. This is Elizabeth. There are 24 in a set for 250, and they're about an inch in diameter. As you can imagine, I also kept quite a bit of these for myself. You know, we get to the point, I have so many doilies, I don't keep a lot of them for myself. But, um, yeah, the some of these little ones I've had to keep a lot of. Okay, this next one is quite different for me. This is the Chanteuse. There are 36 in a set of these for 450. Um, from tip to tip like this, they're about two and a half inches. They are white and they are different. When I got them, I kind of was like, well, I'm not really sure what to do with these exactly. So I started experimenting. And the first thing I found is that you can layer them, of course, in diagonal. You could actually do more than that if you wanted. So I just sort of layered two and grabbed a Butterbee Scraps metal piece and a little Prima Rose did that. And I just think that's so cute. You could coffee dye these too, and I should have probably coffee dyed some because I have a lot, but by that time I was so tired of my hands smelling like coffee and dealing with coffee that I just sort of abandoned ship. So anyway, so that's something that you can do with that. I started experimenting some more and I thought, wonder what happened if you squeeze it together. It's almost kind of butterfly-ish, if you will, or even just like a fun little doodad. I put a little um, I Am Roses flower in the center there then I took it and I cut off the points because some of the points are kind of fray so I cut them off layered it with one of my tiny square doilies and did a button and some twine in there he's cute and then I took one that was cut off and turned it into a butterfly as well and that actually looks more like a butterfly because I gave him little antennas and a little body and I just sort of tied him with thread in the center and I'm sure there are many more things you could come up with to do with these um, interesting shaped doilies However, um, that's what I came up with, so I'd love to see what the rest of you can manage. Okay, so that was the Chanteuse. Next we have Jenny. Jenny is about two and a half inches in diameter. 24 in a set for $5, and this is a style I have had before. I did coffee dye some of these. There weren't very many, so I coffee dyed some and I kept them for myself, and they're gorgeous coffee dyed. Gorgeous! We also have a small Jenny, which was the centers, or the connectors on, on the Jenny. They're about an inch in diameter, and they are so tiny and cute. 24 in a set for $2.50. Next we have George. George, there were, um, this was all on the same tablecloth, but there were two different colors, as you can see. The pictures on the, on the zibit is kind of hard to tell, but at any rate. So this one I've called beige, and this one I've called tan. Um, there, there are Equally, they're about two inches in diameter, 24 in a set for 450. So we have George Beige and George Tan. Okay. Oh, then we have Julieta, which is white, and there are 24 in a set of these for $5. They're about two inches in diameter, and look at that pretty little shape. I just love that. If you really wanted, you could cut off the edges to get the daisy, but I just think that's so pretty that way. So that, again, is Julietta. That is all the names of the characters from the musical. So, again, if anybody can identify that musical, I'll be super duper impressed and excited. Okay, and here's two that I missed the first time around. We do have the small Queen Anne's Lace doily. They're an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half in diameter. 24 in a set for 250. And finally, finally, I have this one, which I've called Sunshine, because it kind of reminds me of a sunshine, the shape. You know, round with the little points, the way you drew a sunshine when you were a kid. So this is sunshine. It's kind of like that creamy, cottony, linen-y stuff. And then it has the crochet around. And I love these for stamping on. Let me let me reach here because I think I have an album. Yes. So here's the cover and album. And I took one of them, as you can see, and you can see I stamped in the center there. So I love to do that. Love to do that. So that is the sunshine, and there are 12 in a set for 450, and they are three and three quarter inches in diameter. So 
there you have it. All the new doilies. They will all be up and ready to roll sometime this afternoon or this evening. Right now it is 9.41 a.m. I will be leaving the house in approximately half an hour, so I won't have time to get everything set before then. But now you know they are coming today. So if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Any comments, I'd love to hear from you if you have any suggestions on, on anything. Um, I do have seconds. I do have the doily centers, like the little, the little, not the centers, the connectors, the little fringy ones. And then I also have a whole lot of the crocheted, the borders from the tablecloth. When I cut the centers, all the little doilies out, if they have borders, I save those. So those are all things that I'm going to be listing at some point. Um, it will not be any time soon but just so you know that I do have them and they will eventually be coming but I wanted to get these doilies now things are getting crazy for me I have a craft show in less than two weeks my dad is having surgery in a week so it's gonna be and my husband's going away for a week and a half so it's gonna, <laughs> gonna be a little crazy so we had to get these in while we could so I hope everyone is having a great day look for these doilies to be listed later and thanks you all thank you all for watching bye